Hey guys, it's Aaron Hill from Mobile Reviews A.C. And today I'm gonna to do a review of the Moshi Endura. This is Moshi's toughest case to date and it's actually their highest rated case to date. And well, you can drop it from 10 feet, which is, you know, cool, I guess. The strength of the Endura actually comes from its mounting system as well as the overall protection it offers your device. I was almost thinking I might say it will surpass the Griffin Summit in terms of the toughest case, but there is one thing I couldn't get over about the Endura. Now, based on my time with this case, I've given a score of 4.5 A's out of 5. This is one of the better iPhone cases that I reviewed for the 6s, as it's right up there in the same level as Rhino Shield Playproof and Thule Atmos X4. In fact, this is the highest rated Moshi case I've ever reviewed out of the Ion, Armor, Chameleon, and Napa or in the regular armors. If you need more info, check out my site. If you're planning on getting the Endura, consider getting it through my site to show your support. Links are in the I or the description section below. Real usage, real reviews, mobilereviewsa.ca. At mobilereviewsa.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage. So when Moshi sends you a case that you could drop from 10 feet, an armband and a bike mount, well, the most logical thing to do is to drop it from 10 feet, go biking with it, even though, you know, I suck at it, as well as pretend that I like running. The Endura has a unique back which houses the mounting port. I found the mechanism a little easier to use than a rock form system as you can easily press the case right onto the bike mount or the arm mount rather than having to do with any sort of twisting. Releasing the Endura is accomplished by pressing the eject button along the side and not once during my workouts that I accidentally have the Endura pop off the mount or my armband. As a side note, I'm doing this exercise called fire hydrants and it's funny because Monty's staring at me like I should be, you know, doing something else. The Endura wears well over time as the outer shell of the case takes a beating fairly well. The case feels very solid which translates to confidence in knowing your iPhones can be well protected if an accident was to happen. The outer shell is also quite rubbery which improves the handling of your iPhone. The the benefit of Moshi's armband design, other than the unique lock locking system, is the fact that your arm doesn't get as sweaty. sweaty. The iPhone sits on your arm so there isn't any perspiration that's going to accumulate between the area of your iPhone and your arm, just around the armband. Adjusting the strap is easily done through the Velcro strap. The bike mount can be adjusted to fit different size handlebars and can be quickly removed without tools if you're paranoid that somebody's going to take your mount when you lock it up in a public place. Now when it comes to protection, the Endura is actually one of the very few cases that claims that it is water resistant. I've seen lots of cases that are waterproof, but very few who say that they are actually water resistant. and actually has the features to back it up. The water resistance on the Endura comes from the films that cover all the audio portions of the iPhone. The screen protector has a black film that covers the speaker, which surprisingly, unlike waterproof cases, doesn't reduce the sound coming from an earpiece speaker, which is quite awesome. The Touch ID is covered in a thin film, which means that there is no way water is reaching the inside of your iPhone from the front of the iPhone. When it comes to drop protection, 10 feet is nothing to laugh at. Actually, 10 feet, I would laugh at 10 feet because the average person isn't going to be dropping it from 10 feet. And if your iPhone is falling from 10 feet, there's probably a good chance that it's attached to you or your bike, which means you're probably going to have bigger problems than having a cracked screen on your iPhone. I didn't have any major issues accessing the iPhone in the Endura. The buttons, like all Moshi cases, are incredibly nice to use and the cutouts at the bottom of the case are covered by port covers, which are easy to, easy to remove and are quite large. I did have a minor issue with the camera flash as the cutout does cut off a tiny bit of the flash. It won't destroy your photographs, but it is something that I've discovered which, you know, may affect photographers who, or photographers who use their iPhone. The included screen protector looks like a variation of their AG screen protector and it does provide edge-to-edge -edge protection. There isn't any adhesive on the touchable layer of the iPhone, but screen sensitivity isn't really reduced. There is a bit of diffusion which is annoying and the screen protector makes viewing your iPhone difficult at certain angles in direct sunlight. Now at the beginning of the review, I did say that this case might supplant the Griffin Summit as the tough case, as the best tough case, but the Summit itself is very useful as a tough case, and the Endura by itself is basically a case with a hole in the back. For me, if you were to get the Endura, you're probably going to have to get the bike mount as well as the armband, or one of the two in order for the Endura to be used to its maximum potential, which adds to the total cost of this case, which isn't great, but again, it's I love the um, mechanism. It's very easy to use, very easy to dismount. Um, if you can afford it, this is pretty awesome. So that's kind of all I got. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. If you found this review useful, consider getting your stuff through my website because, well, Moshi did send me all this stuff for free, which is awesome, but all the time that I spend running, dropping, and doing bad things to my iPhone, well, I had to uh, eat that cost myself. So for me to be around in the near future, 
supporting me through that affiliate link would be awesome. Find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I'm Aaron the Ho. Thank you for watching. Light's still going. Whew. I don't know if you just noticed that, but I totally forgot to charge all the uh, batteries for my lights. So right now, yeah, I'll quickly show you. My light is about to die. As you, the, the, we'll say the left side of the light, only half the LEDs are going and there's no, the battery indicators are pretty much dead on that thing. I've got two more batteries charging down here and I'm hoping this one lasts long enough for me to finish this video. <laughs> Keeping <laughs> it from 10 feet, and if it does, and if your iPhone is falling from 10 feet, there's a good chance. Oh, now I'm screwed. <laughs> uh.